Hey there, girly. You here to party with the Powder Gangers? That's us. We got sent here to fix the rails and make some new ones. And for that, we got to use dynamite. Of course, dynamite works pretty good against caravan guards, too. So, that's what we do. Rob and blow things up. This? This is, or was, the big house. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here, just slave labor. One day, us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn territory. That'll be Eddie. You can usually find him sitting in the warden's old chair up in the main building. Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. Hundred caps sounds right to me. All right, you can go on in. Can't guarantee your safety, though. Just saying. Me? I ran with the toughest gang in the hub. You've heard of the hub, right? It's, uh, west of here, I think. Back in California. We've got the biggest, baddest fort in the wasteland. There's water and power, and if we need grub, we just go out and steal it. Yeah, whatever. You eyeballing me? Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? I was a sheriff, believe it or not, for a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. And I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. I understand that Cook was behind it all. I kept my head down the whole time. Didn't want any part of it. I stuck around, figuring the NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. No sense in making myself look guilty, right? Some kind of anti-NCR rebel. Some people just don't like being pushed around and told what to do. He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where. Didn't say why. All I know is he's got some kind of score to settle with the NCR. I'm not quite sure the kind of greeting NCR troopers will give an escaped con like myself. Figure it's better to stay put for now. Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place, but sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. When I need to? Yes. All right then. Guess I'll just make a quiet exit. No need for a goodbye party or anything. You eyeballing me?
Hey. Could have sworn I saw some great cons the other day. Heard there was a new face around. I'm the doctor around here. Sort of. I was an NCR medic for six months, so I'm not exactly a doctor. Still, it's more medical training than any of the other guys here. It also gives me an excuse to stay out of any raiding parties. The gang can't lose its only doctor now, can it? Medical supplies go for a decent amount of caps in the right markets. I figured the quartermaster wouldn't notice any missing. I was wrong. Let's see. I've been a farmhand, a bouncer, a bandit, and an NCR trooper. I don't recommend any of them. The location by the highway makes it a good spot to shake down any travelers passing through. That's why Eddie and the rest are still around. Me, I like having big walls between myself and the wasteland. One night, there was a big explosion from the other cell block. I had no idea what was going on, so I took cover in my bunk. When it was all over, the guards were dead and we were free. Most of the other prisoners scattered, but a few of us stuck around, obviously. Later. Hello. Evening. Hello. Dahl said he let somebody in. So you going to give me a reason not to kill you and throw your body back outside? It was all Cook's idea. He and his boys managed to swipe some dynamite and hide it away in their cells. The rest of us just tagged along. Cook's crew headed north while the rest of us stuck around for payback. The NCR called it a work-release prison. We lucky prisoners got the privilege of fixing up the rail lines and blasting rock for new lines. They got sloppy, though. Some of us managed to hide away some dynamite, and look who's in charge now. One mean son of a bitch. Really, truly hates the NCR for some reason. And he got a lot of the other guys around to his way of thinking. He and his crew went north. I heard talk about some sort of big plan to get back at the NCR, but haven't seen them since. Why do you care? Answer, you shouldn't. I don't feel like trading life stories. This is Powder Ganger territory, my territory. Most of the guys around here understand that. One, Chavez doesn't. Chavez formed his own crew and have been hitting traitors on their own. Everybody I've sent after him either got killed or weren't able to catch him. That leaves you. What do you say? Chavez is the ringleader. Without him, his crew will fall apart, and I don't give a shit about those guys. Good. Chavez and his boys were last seen south of here. If you're lucky, 
and he's careless, he might still be there. Yeah, get out of here. What do you want now? Yeah, whatever. You just walked into the wrong camp, my friend. Hand over everything you've got and we might let you live. That's nothing new. Am I supposed to be impressed? All right. Pickings were getting slim around here anyway. There's a fine looking woman. Just needs to ditch the road. Got something good for me? Is it a dress? What? I'm happy you cleared that up for me, but we've got another situation to worry about. There's a merchant hanging around near the prison. Something feels funny about him, and I want you to deal with him. Shake him down if he's legit, but if not, take him out. Most people already know we run this territory and are usually in a hurry to get out. Not this guy. It's like he wants us to come get him. Yeah, get out of here. Evening. 
Scrambler's crazier than usual. Watch yourself. Better be careful around these parts. I hear there's powder gangers around and dangerous for merchants like me. Guess I was a little too obvious. I'm actually a bounty hunter. I was hoping to bag some powder gangers if they tried to rob me. No, but there ought to be. I'm just taking the initiative, is all. Yeah, was a stupid idea anyway. See you around. You won't see me around here again. That chip of yours? I wouldn't wager it on Blackjack. Unless the dealer has a five or six showing. See you around. There's a fine looking woman. Just needs to ditch the road. Evening. What? Good. Had him figured for NCR. One of the Rangers, maybe. Anyway, speaking of the NCR, I need you to take a walk down to Prim. The NCR hasn't raised hell over our breakout, and I want to find out why. They're up to something. I can feel it. I know the NCR has troops near Prim. So talk to the locals and find out if any of those troops are going to be coming our way. Yeah, get out of here. Hello.
Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah! this data file locked away in an isolated subsystem. Hey there. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim, youngster. Hats off to you. Bye. Yeah. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Have you gotten us any additional support yet? Knight. He's at Mojave Outpost. Ma'am.
Hey. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... Just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Prim? A's units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? I'd like to help, but we can't spare any more units. We have to maintain a minimum headcount at the outpost. Orders from the west. I see the wisdom in that. I'll radio for a unit to head up to Prim and offer some additional support. Ma'am? We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Yeah? Yeah, I just got word of that. There's a squad of Rangers standing by. Sergeant McGee will take over as sheriff and the Rangers will be his deputies. This town will be in NCR territory. This means that aside from protection, the citizens will also need to become registered NCR citizens and pay any appropriate and associated taxes. Roger. I'll radio them over now. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... Just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Prim? A's units are stationed up there. We're having... One of the powder gangers? They've been nothing but trouble for us. Why would we want one of them anywhere in an official capacity? Uh, all right. If his sentence was closing up, I can see about getting him pardoned. Prim is important to our trade up from California, so having someone there who owes us a favor, that couldn't hurt. Help? Oh, well, you could speak to Ranger Jackson. He might have something for you. He sort of runs things around here. Mostly ends up sending reports back west that aren't filled with the best news. Ma'am? Hey. Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry, only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell, and if I let a caravan through, they won't make it. Soldiers, no. Recruits, yes. And the Mojave outpost has been ordered to have a standing force at the NCR perimeter at all times. So sending anyone out reduces the outpost's numbers, and would be in direct violation of my orders from back west. Sending more troops, yes. To reinforce the outpost, no. 
Troops head through here on their way to McCarran, or to the front lines at Forlorn Hope. Or they're on leave, on their way to New Vegas to piss away their pay. All of them passing through. Frustrated? No, I have my orders. Signed and approved all the way up the chain from Kimball. And I understand the reasons. The outpost isn't a Legion target, yet. Not like Vegas or the Dam. But if the caravans get choked here, that's gonna bite NCR hard. Anyway, didn't mean to talk your ear off. Some days, just feel like more requisition forms and daily reports come across my desk than results. Help? Now look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. And you look like you can handle yourself. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with. Hello. Grenade!
Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supplied, and I meant it. Not allowed to contract mercenaries at the outpost. Still, a requisition form or two can get lost, and they're not gonna come check. So here you go. Just between us. Got something good for me? Is it a dress? Thanks for getting me that pardon. Me and the boys will take good care of Prim. Don't you worry. Watch yourself out there. wimped out and accepted NCR rule. Some people will do anything to feel safe. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. I keep hearing about some courier making. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim, youngster. Hats off to you. I might know something, but my memory ain't what it used to be. Sometimes it needs motivating. Hold on there. With everything you've already done for this town, I'd feel ungrateful as hell if I let you risk yourself for no good reason. He made me swear not to say a word to no one, but an NCR deserter passed through some days ago and traded for supplies. According to him, the NCR has decided enough's enough and is going to send in a mess of troops to take back the prison any day now. Got a new sheriff, as you know. Meyer's a bit rougher hewn than I might have liked, but he seems like a good sort. So far, so good. Later. A fuss over at the strip. isn't the lawbringer. My problem is that I'm no longer a deputy. 
I'm just a beagle now. Apparently two and a half months of law enforcement experience doesn't count for anything. The new regime is just that. All new. He's a good sheriff, but a hard man. He doesn't abide by anyone slinking by the rules. I guess there won't be any trouble, but the man's law is hard. There was some kind of massacre at one of the ranger stations. I don't know which one. Howdy. 